relatively useful. And then this is our vacuum dryer. By this vacuum dryer, you can easily to remove the water content inside of the, uh, inside of the palm oil use. Hi, uh, Monko. Monko, welcome to the live. How are you? Oh, I check you are from Thailand. How are you doing? Welcome to the live. Good afternoon. Uh, we are Henan Dream Holdings, and our company it is located in Henan Province in China. So that's our factory. But we do have our overseas company, we have overseas office which is located in Nigeria. So if you'd like to know more information about our uh, company, about our whole processing line, you can easily type in something in the comment. Uh, Daffy and Munko. And currently, let me show you one of our uh, palm kernel oil pressing line. Uh, right, hold it a second, ladies and gentlemen, let me definitely show you a palm kernel oil pressing line. And if you'd like to know more information for this palm kernel oil pressing line, uh, for, uh, hold it a second. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's check, check about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can check about this is all the uh, equipments inside of the palm kernel oil, uh, palm kernel oil press pressing line. Hi, how are you? If you are the viewer that is from YouTube and if you'd like to know more information for our equipments, especially for palm oil and palm kernel oils, you can easily type something in the comments. Currently, we are doing the live on Alibaba at the same time and we are showing you uh, 3D videos about how we press the palm oil and pre uh, palm kernel oils. And the first equipment that we use, it is our uh, separator, hold it a second, I think it is too large, I can smaller, make it a smaller. Yeah, you guys can see, this is our fiber and nut separator, because as we all know, uh, when we obtain about the palm nuts, it usually covers with the fibers. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the fiber that is covered on the nuts. And uh, for this equipment, it is really have a really simple structure. Uh, you can check this is how it works. And the bottom, it is outlet for the fibers. And the right part, it is outlet for the pure nuts. If you'd like to know more information or feedback from this, uh, for this device, type something in the comments, or you can easily leave your WhatsApp uh, number at the comment area. So this is all the kernels. And uh, this is our input hopper for the shells and the nut separator. And for this input, it is connected with the uh, bucket elevator here. And over this part, there is a really, really uh, massive, really big magnetic separator to separate the magnetic items, for example, like the nails, iron nails, or some uh, magnetic small things. How are you? Welcome to the live, Kitty. How are you doing? Currently, we are showing you the palm, uh, palm kernel oil pressing line. And right now, you guys are checking about the nuts and shell separator, because before we press the uh, palm kernels, we have to separate about the shells, because the shells have a really low uh, oil quality and it's so hard. Thank you so much for your like and if you'd like to know more information for the palm oil, palm kernel oil processing line, just easily type something here. And uh, this is our magnetic separator to protect about our equipment and separate the magnetic items. And then this is our grinding, uh, grinding device not grinding machine here and through this device we can easily separate our uh, nuts into two parts big size one smaller size one 
uh, you guys can see the mesh. The mesh size it is totally different. One it is like the smaller, smaller mesh, and then the other one it is can bigger size mesh one. So we can separate our nuts into two parts according to the size. And for the next part, it is our cracker. To crack all the nuts into shells and kernels. Cracker, yeah. This is our cracker. And it can totally crack all the nuts get into shells and nuts. So we can easily separate them in the next part. This is, right now you guys about to see, this is what we do for separate the nuts and shells. Due to the weight, it is totally different for the nuts and shells. All the shells will easily collected by the uh, cyclone here. You guys can see the cyclone here. You can easily collect it, all the shells, but the kernels will automatically drop at the bottom to the kernel outlet. We can easily collect it, them. Why will you the cyclone here? It is in a... Uh, to avoid all the shells will flying around inside of the workshop and increase uh, increasing about the uh, labor work and the blue part is a fan to bring the uh, force for the cyclone if you do have any questions and if you do interested about this separator uh, nuts and shell separator easily type something in the comment i can uh, give you more information about it like showing you a 3D videos, pictures, feedback from our previous clients. And uh, right now you guys can see this is the kernel outlet and the uh, shells outlet. And then this is our crusher. To crush all the nuts into three slices or two into four slices. So that we can easily control the temperature and control the humidity inside of the before we do the pressing. And then it is our cooker, or we can call it like a roaster. Hey, welcome to the live, Ben. Welcome to the live. This is Oliver from Honda Dream Holdings and currently we are showing you about the palm kernel oil pressing line. And for this equipment, it is our cooker and we can also call it like a roaster. When the palm kernels get into this equipment, there is a really special wave, special design. It is adopted. Uh, so during demo for this one, all right, then I will give you about our catalog. So please let me know which one you're interested in more, uh, palm oil, palm kernel oils, or like the some ordinary oils like the rapeseed oil, sunflower oils, peanut oils. We can provide you all of the high quality presser, filter, or other equipments here. And you can check about this uh, cooker. And when it is working, this device, it is keep rotating and all the uh, palm kernels will also rotate according to the, to, to the wave that is adopted inside. Welcome, Eric. Welcome to the live, Eric. And when you have done with the cooker, when the temperature, when the, like, the humidity, it is perfect, you can easily change the rota uh, rotate Hey, how are you, Ben? If there's uh, sunflower seeds, all right, Ben. Uh, you can our our assistant will reach to you really soon. And if you like, I can definitely after this video, I can show you about the sunflower seeds, uh, sunflower oil processing line. You can just wait here for uh for a minute. So with this cooker or for this ro uh, roaster, we can easily control the humidity, control the temperature for the equipment here. And the next thing we need to do is to press. And before we do the press, there is a hopper to control the whole speed. And uh, this is the inlet for the palm kernel oil presser. And according to different mount, we have different capacity equipment here. And then we do have one of these play filter to filter out all of the impurities like the water content like other uh, tiny fibers or some other tiny impurities here so that we can obtain the crude oils and right now let me find about the sunflower seeds oil pressing line hold on a second let me show you about the sunflower 
Do I have it here? Oh, I have the peanut oils, have the rapeseed oils. Anyway, uh, Ben, uh, I am sorry that I did not, I don't, I don't have about the sunflower seeds oil pressing line like the 3D video in this computer, but I believe our assistant will reach to you and show you the 3D video and the picture feedback for you. If you can leave your WhatsApp number in the message part, we can give you more information. And our company has done the those kind of oil and fast business about 10 years. To be specific, that is 12 years. And we do accumulate so many experiences here. And our system will reach to you really soon. All right. Welcome, YJ. Welcome to the live. All right, thanks. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. And uh, right now, since we have already checked about the palm kernel oil pressing line, right now let's see about the palm oil pressing line. And uh, for the last time, it is so quick. I believe there were so many things that you didn't see really clear. But it doesn't matter if you'd like to know more information for the palm oil use or the for the palm kernel oil pressing pressing line. Uh, right now, let's check about it. Yeah, this is a palm oil pressing line. And then, if you are still here, you can leave your WhatsApp number in the part, in the message part, so that so that our assistant can reach to you and show you the sunflower seeds. Uh, pressing line, the picture, the feedback, the 3D videos. And right now, let's check about the palm oil pressing line here. A very detailed one. So this is all the palm fruits here. And when and when you uh, receive about all the palm fruits, you better to handle all the palm fruits in 24, in 48 hours, which is in two days. Uh, otherwise, it will uh, e easily like uh, the the increase for the FFA, and uh, the adamase will increase. So we better to handle all the palm fruits in two days, and then it is our fruit cage. We can put all the palm fruits inside of the fruit cage, and by using the hanger, put the fruit cage inside of the ster uh, sterilizer. For one of the sterilizer, you can input four of the fruit cage. And the fruit cage material, it is totally uh, stainless steel. No worry about uh, the quality, really durable. And if you want, you can just use one of the fruit cage if you want, or you can just use it to according to totally according to your needs. And we do have a steam boiler inside of the protecting line. And let me show you about the steam boiler. For this one, you can burn the woods, you can burn other fuels to bring the high temperature. And the temperature inside of the steam boiler, which is normally around 145 degrees, and after 60 to 90 minutes sterilize, sterilize you can done with it. And is there anyone know why we do the sterilization first? Uh, there are multiple reasons. The first one, we want to destroy the enzymes inside of the palm fruits, so to, 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 to have a longer storage for the final oils. And uh, for the high temperature, for the high temperature that is uh, 145 degrees, you can, all the palm fruits, especially for the fruits, it will get softened. So in the digester part, we can easily collect all the palm fruits by using the high temperature. All right. Yeah, after 60 to 90 minutes, we can done with the sterilization. And uh, hey, how are you? Welcome to the live. Zahers, welcome to the live. Uh, currently, we are showing you about the palm fruit processing line. If you're interested about how we press the palm oil, you can uh, easily type something. We are not uh, only doing the palm oil or palm kernel oil, but also with the sunflower oil, uh, peanut oil, rapeseed oil, we all have it here. And right now, for this part, it is our digester. 
and the length for this equipment it is about 2.5 meters the lo the length it is long enough for our device to remove all the pound fruits all the uh, all the fruits out of the bunches before we are using like a vertical one it turns out uh, when the pound fruit when the pound fruits with the bunches get inside of the device it will easily get into the outlet so all the pound fruits cannot be totally uh, thrashed by this device and at the right part you guys, you guys can check here there is a blue card we can easily collect all the empty bunches and uh, reuse the bunches inside of the steam boiler to save a lot of like the energy a lot of cost energy cost and at the bottom over here you guys can see it is outlet for the pound fruits and at the bottom there is a screw conveyor all the pound fruits will get into the screw conveyor and transport to the next station which is our digester that is what we do for the pre press pre press yeah uh hey how are you fa welcome to the live this is oliver from hanan Jing holdings thank you so much for your like and if you didn't follow about our shop please give us a follow because every week we are totally showing you guys about different items different uh, pressing line for the oil and fast business and right now you guys can see here this is our digester uh, the digester there are so many paddles and stir it is adopted inside to totally digest all the pound fruits and to make it soft before we press all the pound fruits and uh, uh, over this part the blue item you can you guys can check here the blue thing it is a steam pipe to bring the high temperature again to soften the fruits and to make sure all the palm fruit is totally get digested, it is soft, it is in the perfect situation before we do the pressing. And during this part, uh, it may also produce some of the palm oils that we do set one of the collector to collect the palm fruit palm oils that is produced in this part. This blue collector, it is really useful. It can avoid the waste for the pound fruits and it can protect about our equipment. It is a really, really, uh, that is what we do for the details also. And the yellow thing, you guys can check here, the yellow part, it is our double screw palm oil presser. And the blue, blue thing over here, inside of the palm oil presser, uh, it is our squeeze. It is our squeeze and for this squeeze it is totally different for other companies for other countries uh, equipment why is that because for this squeeze after we produce uh, the, the squeeze we have done the polish so all the squeeze it is really really tidy it is really really uh, smooth so when the pamphlet get in touch with the uh, like the, the, the squeeze it will it, it will not easily cause the problems of clog so that we can increase the final oil rate and lower the oil residue rate. And for different uh, amount of the pound fruits, we do have different capacity equipment here. For this one, it is about uh, double screw palm oil presser, but also we all uh, we all have uh, like uh, the single screw palm oil presser, which the capacity it is normally around 500 kilograms per hour. But for this one, uh, we do have one ton per hour to two ton per hour, five ton uh, per hour. We all have in stock. So if you can easily let me know uh, what kind of uh, oil seeds do you have or how many hours do you work for one day or like uh, what is your budget? We can give you the uh, customized design according to your situation, according to your information. And uh, for this one, it is a really, really durable one. And uh, for the squeeze, when it get into the outlet, the, 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 the squeeze, the double squeeze, it is even getting closer to increase the final oil rate. Uh, and if you'd like to know more information, like the 3D videos, like how, uh, what, what kind of items it consists with the uh, uh, double screw pump oil presser or which equipment is more suitable for me, uh, you can just easily leave something in the comment. I can give you more information. And after this part, we have already obtained the clean palm oils. And for the later part, it is all about remove the impurities 
to uh, improve the final quality of our final uh, crude oils. And you guys can see this one. This is our temporary temporary storage box to like temporary temporary storage for the oils. Control the whole speed. And then it is our pump here. And for this one, it is our vibration side. Keep vibrating, keep vibrating, or we can call it like a vibrating screen. Keep vibrating to remove the impurities like fibers. And they really have a low noise. You barely cannot hear anything from it when it is working. And for the last uh, exhibition that we participate, there are a lot of uh, companies have those kind of vibration screen here to remove the fibers and for this equipment it is portable really easy for people to 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 to, to move it like from this part to that part and have a low noise and it is a really automatic one what is that because when it is keep vibrating all the fibers all the impurities will automatically get into the uh, uh, uh like the impurities outlet and all the palm oils will automatically drop at the palm oil outlet. So it is really convenient and a high efficiency one. Yeah, you check, check about it. Uh, there are two mesh. It is adopted inside. One is 20 mesh and uh, the other one it is about 40 mesh. So according through those two kind of different mesh, we can like... Uh, filter out all of the like big size fibers. This is how it works. And then it is our clarification tank here. And inside of the tank, you guys may be curious about what is the pipe that is inside. Is, is, is that all you pipe? Uh, to be honest, that is a steam pipe. Because as we all know, all the oils, not only about the palm oils, but also with the palm kernel oils, with other ordinary oils, it is really droppy. So, to make all the oils can flow more fluency, yeah, flow more fluency, we bring the high temperature uh, to this device. So, it is flow really, really flimsy. And you guys can check here, uh, when the palm oils get into this device, it will keep swirling, keep swirling, and inside of the equipment, you guys can see there is a hopper. So all the clean oils, will, all the pure oils uh, will get, in, get directly get into the hopper and uh, get into the next station. But the heavy items like the uh, iron things, like the, uh, uh, like the, stone, small stone, or like the other heavy impurities will automatically drop at the bottom for these equipment. Uh, you guys can see the crude, uh, clean crude oils will directly get into the hopper, and that is pure oils according to the weight uh, with the heavy stones and our palm oils. You can think in that way. And our temporary, te temporary storage box and our like a pump here, this is our play filter. And just like I said, for this play filter, it is relatively useful because uh, you can not only use it in the palm oils, but also with the palm kernel oils, ordinary oils, you can all use it. There are several of the mesh. It is adopted inside of the equipment. One mesh, one mesh, one mesh, one mesh connected to each other. So when the palm oils get into the device, uh, all the oils will go through all of the mesh to remove the water content and other tiny impurities. And uh, this is the outlet for the uh, clean crude oils here. After this one, uh, there's barely not any impurities it is inside. And uh, since the water content, the humidity, it is much, much less than before. So you can... Uh, Temporary, you can store it for the crude oils for a relatively long time. But if you'd like to obtain more, more high quality oils, you have to uh, plus another one, uh, which is our vacuum dryer that is totally can remove the water content inside of the crude oils. Why is that? You guys can see here. This is our vacuum dryer, and inside of the equipment there are like a stir. It is keep stirring, 
and to remove that like the water content during that part uh, when the water content it is removed at the same time some palm oils will uh, also removed so we do have the leaking and gas separator so we can easily collect about the palm oil that is evaporating during the evaporation and after the vacuum dryer we have already obtained the high quality uh, crude, crude palm oils and so we can put all the palm oils again to the storage tank and this is our play filter how we clean it we can easily separate about the mesh the meshes one one and the, the, the impurities will automatically drop and this is our steam boiler to bring the steam for this whole process in line especially for like the uh, sterilizer and clarification tank it all needs about the steam And this is our cooling water system. If you'd like to know more information for our palm oil pressing line, easily type it something in the comment. And if you are from our, uh, if you are from YouTube and, and if you are checking about the live here, you can easily leave something. I can give you about our WhatsApp number. You can easily connect it to us, to uh, contact with us. And uh, currently we are doing the live on Alibaba at the same time to showing you guys the 3D videos about the palm oil use and the palm kernel oil this is all for the palm oils uh if you do you have any questions ladies and gentlemen do you have any questions like before there is customer check about the uh, ask about the question can i use the palm oil presser to press other ordinary oils like the sunflower seeds can i do that uh to be honest uh, we do not suggest you guys to make it because why is that Uh, especially uh, for palm fruits, palm, uh, palm oil presser, compared with other ordinary oil presser, you have different grades for the press. Like we have like two grades of the press and four grades of the press. It is uh, su uh, suitable for, for different kinds of oil seeds according to like the, the, the shape. And the difficulties, as we all know, the palm kernels, it is really hard. But with some other oils like the uh, palm fruits or sunflowers or peanut fruits, it is more soft. So if you use the peanut oil presser to press about the uh, palm kernels, uh, sometimes you cannot even get about the oils barely you cannot get uh, get the oils and it, will, it may break about the equipment because different heart, different uh, difficulties. Anyway, if you do have any questions, please put your question in the comments. Oh, is, is this oil you can directly eaten? Uh, no, because for this one, for this whole processing line, after you uh, obtain the cr uh, crude oil use, it is not like the edible oil. You have to do the refining to remove like other tiny impurities. Like the you have to do the de gumming, the colorization, the odorization, and the acidification to remove about other tiny impurities so that you can uh, turn all the clean or uh, crude oils again to the edible oils. So if there's any question. Uh, you, you can directly put your question in the comments right now. All right. So if there's no further question, let's check about the palm kernel oil pressing line again. So that will be all for today's live. And if you do have any questions right now, please put your question in the comments. I can give you more information about our company, about our whole processing line. By the way, our company it is located in Henan province China so that's our factory we do have two factories in total uh, which means for these two factories the amount it is about 40,000 square meters and there are more than 200 workers producing the equipment at the same time and we do have our overseas office which is located in Nigeria 
So if you are live in the sub Tokyo area countries or Tokyo area countries, it is really really convenient for you guys to place the order, no matter for the shipping or no matter for like the installation. We can all help you a lot. So if you do have any question right now, please just put your question in the comment. I am waiting for your question, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, uh, let's check about the palm kernel oil prepping line. Let's check it again from the beginning. Hi, Hogson, how are you? Welcome to the live. Good morning, or I should good evening for you because currently in China it is the afternoon time. Good afternoon for you. Uh, this is Oliver from Hanan Dream Holdings, and uh, today's topic is about how to press palm oils and palm kernel oils. And we just show you guys about the how we press the palm oils right now. Let's check about how we press the palm kernel oils. And this is basically all the equipment that we will use in the palm kernel oil processing line. Pressing line. First thing we need to do is to remove the fibers. Because during the processing uh, pressing part in the palm oils, we, we, when we obtain the palm kernels, when we obtain the palm nuts, it is usually covered with the Fiber. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the fibers, get the pure nuts here. And this is our separator, a really simple structure, really uh, like a single, simple maintenance. If you have any questions, please dare to put your question in the comments. And for especially for this whole processing line, it is our most, most popular, one of the most, most popular processing line here. The next thing. It is our shells and nut separator, kernels and shell separator, and this is the input. And if you do have any questions right now, please directly put your question in the comments because currently I am waiting for your question. And right now you guys can see here, this is our nut and shell separator, kernel and shell separator. And before we do the grinding, before we do the cracking, we have to, pre uh, in case to pre protect about our equipment, we just set one of the uh, really big of the magnetic separator here. You guys can check over here, magnetic separator uh, to filter out all of the fiber, uh, no, no, fiber, magnetic things like the irons or some other uh, nails, iron nails to protect about our, our equipment. And then it is our nuts grinding equipment, separate our nuts into two parts, big size one and smaller size one, so that when we do the cracker, all the nuts will totally cracked by the equipment. If there's any questions, please directly put your question in the comment because I am waiting for I'm waiting for that. This is our cracker. So after the cracker, we will get the shells and the kernels. This is a mixture for the kernels and shells. So next thing to, we need to do is to separate the nuts and the shells. Due to the different weights for the shells and nuts, uh, the shells will automatically uh, will collected by the cyclone that we set, and the kernels will automatically drop at to 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 the kernel outlets. For this cyclone, it is why we're using the cyclone here is to. Uh, avoid the other shells while flying around inside of the workshop so that and the blue thing here it is the fan to bring the force for the uh, cyclone do you have any questions ladies and gentlemen do you have any questions if you do uh, right now please put your question in the comment area 
We can wait for, for wait for your question for a while. And this is a crusher to crush our pound fruits and get into like the uh, three slices or four slices so we can better uh, control the temperature and the humidity for the pound kernels. And this is our cooker. Also control the temperature and the humidity. Normally we will cook all the palm nuts for 30 minutes. Yeah, normally we will cook it for 30 minutes. And then it is our presser, palm kernel presser, palm kernel presser. And this one, it is our play filter, just like I said, it is really, really uh, useful one. No matter what kind of oil and fast business you like to do, uh, you can all use about this play filter to make it. So if there's any question that you'd like to know more, uh, right now, please let me know what is your question, because I am waiting for your question here. And if I can give you more detailed information about our equipment or about our company, I will be so happy. Hey, welcome to the live. Uh, if there is anything you'd like to know right now, please put your question in the comments. Waiting for your questions. And let me check, can I find about the sunflower oil use? Yeah, I believe I cannot because that video showed the video. Hoxon, how are you? Hoxon Lur. All right, let's just wait for more questions before ending today's live. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to the live. How are, how are you? If you didn't subscribe about, uh, about our shop, you can right now uh, click the upper left button to give me a follow so that next time we do a live stream, you will be noticed. And uh, oh, let me check about this comment here. Yeah, if you do have any questions right now, please put your question in the comment. This is Oliver from Hunan Jin Holdings, and our company is located in Hunan Province, China, so that's our factory. And uh, we do have our overseas office, which is located in Nigeria, so if you are living in the uh, tropical area countries or subtropical area countries, it is more uh, convenient for you to, to place the order or purchase the equipment here. And by the way, for our equipment, for our uh, machines have uh, been shipped to all over the world, about 100 countries, uh, especially in Southeast Asia area, subtropical area countries, South American countries, we all have a, uh, our clients. And if you'd like to know more information for our like uh, single equipment or for our whole processing line, please put your question, uh, please let me know what you want to know for us or for our equipment, I can give you more detailed information for our equipment, for our processing line. We can all provide you that. 
Hi Mugla, welcome to the live memories. Mugla, how are you? Currently, we are showing you the press, uh, how to press the palm oil and the palm kernel oils. And if you do the oil and fast business, not only for the palm oil and for palm kernel oils, but also for the like the abrasive oils, sunflower oils, uh, peanut oils, you can all just leave the, leave something in the comment like a uh, hi, leave a. Uh, uh, please let me know what kind of oil seeds do you have so that I can give you, recommend you more like uh, equipment. Let me send you about our cart. Oh, yeah, please let me know, alright, sir. And memories. I mean, uh, when you contact with us, you can let us know about what is your oil seeds, how many do you have, how many hours do you work for one day. With those uh, detailed information, we can give you recommendations and give you a customized design because uh, for different equipment, for different, especially for different capacity one, and for the different requirements, the price for the equipment, it is totally different. Like uh, if you want to get the palm oils in a really uh, a limited budget, you can uh, you can get three equipments. One, it is the thresher to thresh all the palm fruits out of the bunches. And uh, you can choose one of the palm oil presser. You can choose the single squeeze one, single screw one or double screw one totally according to your budget and according to your basic information and plus you can uh, and through you can plus one of the play filter which is this one to filter out like the impurities like the fibers like the water content like some other uh, tiny impurities you can all uh, you can also get the clean crude oil use so it is totally according to your needs, according to your requirements. We can provide you the best quality with the relatively low price equipment. And if you do have any questions right now, please direct your picture question in the comment. And if you are here, if you are here, you can also just type like a hi, type a stop here for better information. And if you worry about the quality, I can give you like one year warranty which in one year, if there's anything wrong with our equipment or with our uh, the processing line, you can take a video for us, uh, like a take picture for us, we can give you the solution 24 hours in one day, like how to solve the problems. Yeah, we do have those kind of one year warranty. Alright, so if there's anything that you'd like to know right now, please direct you put your question in the comments. Let's just wait for more questions. And if you didn't follow this, uh, our channel or our shop, you can right now give us a follow because for different week, we are showing you different parts about oil fast business. Uh, today is about the palm oils and palm kernel oils. Next time we uh, probably show you like the sunflower seeds, like the bean, just curious about, or just about a rap seed oils, peanut oils, how we prove that, or a refinery because right now, when you obtain the crude oils, it is not like the edible oils, but like the crude oils. But if you'd like to make the crude oils gain to the edible type, you have to do the refund, like four parts, the gumming, the acidification, the, uh, the odorization, and the 
colorization. So we all have uh we have three types of the refining plant. One it is the batch type, and one it is a, a semi continuous one, and one it is continuous one. So according to your different amount of the oils, we can give you three different kind of type of the re re refinery plant. Or if you think the like the uh pressed way it is too traditional we also have the solvent extraction way and the oil residue rate it is relatively low it is uh, below one percent the oil residue rate it is below one percent so it is really amazing with the same amount of the palm oil palm seeds you can definitely uh obtain more palm oils so yeah that is a really really good way and uh yeah please let me know what you need uh when it is relatively for the oil and fast business all right for our company we have done the business about 10 years and we do accumulate we do have so many experiences no matter what kind of equipment you need or what kind of capacity equipment we can produce it according to your needs because we can provi uh, provide you the best quality of the equipment and if you'd like to get the uh, machine if you'd like to, to get the equipment that made in China with a high quality uh, but with the relatively low price we have the best one especially for the palm oil and palm kernel oils you can easily compare our equipment to other companies equipment you will definitely surprised by our uh, uh, the quality for our equipment. So yeah, let's just wait for more questions if you guys do have. Or uh, if there's no further question, our live stream will be in really soon. So right now, if you do have it, just put it in the, in the comment. Or if you want to contact with us, uh, with our engineers team, and with our sales manager, you can just leave something in the comment. They will reach to you really soon. Or if you do need those kind of 3D video, just type it, type it in the comment. Uh, our system will send you really, really soon. All right. Let's just wait for it. Let's just wait for more. And let me do the accumulate. Hey, how are you? Welcome, Arbar. Welcome to the live. Today's topic is about how to press palm oils and palm kernel oils. And uh, if you're interested about any kinds of oils, especially for palm oils, palm kernel oils, sunflower oils, or peanut oils, you can all come in, come in to the live and leave something in the comments. Uh, I can show you about our like those kind of 3D videos, our feedbacks, our uh, pictures that our provides kind shoe for us. So if you do need anything you can run up, please just come here and say something in the comment, all right? Uh, Inger Abar Wahid, welcome to the live. How are you? How's your day going? How's your day going? There are so many people it is caring about the sunflower oil processing line. Yeah, and uh, right now, if you can give me a follow next time, I promise I will show you the 3D videos about sunflower or use processing line. So if you can do that, just give me a follow next time. Uh, I can bring the sunflower oil. Hey, welcome time. Welcome to the live AT. How's your day going? If you didn't subscribe to our live right now, you can just give us a follow. So that next time when you do show you will be noticed. And uh, right now, I know there are so many people curious about the sunflower oil pressing line uh, next time I will definitely show you the 3d videos and more pictures about the sunflower oils because that is what we do for the oil and fast business 
And this is Oliver from Hunan Jun holding for our company and for our uh, factory. It is all located in Henan province in China. And we do have 10 years, more than 10 years experiences. So if you do need anything that is related to all your facts, uh, right now, put your question in the comments. I can definitely show you more details and our live stream will be end in three minutes. If there's anything that you'd like to know, just put it in the comment area. I am waiting for a question. Can't wait for your question, ladies and gentlemen. And for this video, hi, Larvi Starhard, Starhardy, welcome to the live. How are you? If you're interested about the uh, oil and fast business, you can just put your question in the comments because currently I am waiting for that. Frederick. How are you? And Larvi? Uh, if there's new questions, uh, like, like if you do not have any questions right now, you can just give, give me a follow. Or if you do have any questions, you can just type it in the comment area. Our assistant will reach to you really soon, like showing you more detailed information. By if, if you can tell us about our uh, what kind of uh, what kind of OSCs do you have, and how many hour how many hours do you working for for one day, and what is your budget so so that we can provide you more. And our live will be ending in less than two minutes, so right now, if you do have anything that you'd like to know that is related to all your facts. Just put it in the comment, all right? Waiting for you. And I believe last week, I mean, two, three, three, four, four days earlier, we do have our exhibition that is located in Russia, Moscow, I think. And if you'd like to check the, about the exhibition, about for our company, you can just click about our detail page and check about the two two lives. It is really really popular uh, exhibition. There are so many people who are curious about our exhibition, about our equipment, especially for like the sunflower oils, peanut oils, uh, machines. They they love it so much. Hi, Battery Kachi Chiubowa. Yeah, I believe you are from those kind of area. And if you do have any questions right now, please put your question in the comments. Uh, otherwise, that will be uh, all for today's live. And uh, wish everyone can have a really, really wonderful Monday here. And I will see you guys next time. See you.